how to make the ultimate water chicken drinker. Right, so I'm going to tell you. This is for people in the UK, because I know you people in England will have access to plenty of wheelie bins. So these get thrown around. This is a mini wheelie bin, look. So it's the small one that they give to people who live in bungalows in the UK. So we've got all these chicks in here now running around. And what we're basically doing today, we're gonna remove two of these drinkers. There's two on either side. So there's two big ones, the guys outside just filling them up. And we're gonna move them into a different pen, reuse them somewhere else. But what we do, what we're gonna do today is because these beds are nearly, nearly off heat and the, you know, the into everything now we're gonna use the automatic drinking cups so these this is already full up see that's all it fills up that's it it'll slowly stop in a second when it gets to there look it stops so it doesn't hold very much water at all so the cart round. these little cups will cost you off ebay no more than you know a few pence I think the 10 pence, see they're all full now. So basically, all you do, get a wheelie bin. And the perfect thing about a wheelie bin is, look, it stops the little chick's feathers going inside and everything else. So all you do, get your local wheelie bin. That's it, they're all full now, look. These will fill the self automatically. All you need to do is every other day is just come and uh put it in the middle mate. we're just replacing the bricks if you saw my video we changed the clip put these bricks in here because it gives them space around the heat lamp so you don't get any getting squashed so yeah fill this up this is good for any type of chickens a bit of advice i'll give you don't put any cups on the side because as you take them out the buildings you break them off Yeah, put that <coughs> look at that look he's got a pet foot put that in the uh, tractor we'll take him home and I'll keep him safe and that one there's two of them with pecked feet right so basically going back to what I was saying these are perfect for any chicken so you can fill these up and leave them for any you know, amount of time. If you're going away on holiday, you can fill up one of them big, big feeders. And what I see a lot of, um, especially the foreign channels, like the pit, like these farmers in different countries, you know, Nigeria's, Ghana's, and all them sort of places abroad, they don't really use a lot of automatic feeders, and they're probably, you know, spending quite a lot of money on. Um, on feeders and drinkers and all different stuff and you can buy them for a pound you can get them off alibaba where they are literally you know one pound for three or four of them and <laughs> they cost nothing so what you do to teach them you grab a bed you stick his head in like that leave him there get this one stick his head in like that now he knows, look, he was going to go back for another drink then, but he's, uh, yeah, so as I come over to you, just grab them, put, put their heads in, like that. And that's it, that's all you do. Simple as that. And they'll be eating and drinking and everything else on their own, nice and automatic. So that takes out a lot, a lot of work. And all you do once a week, come down, go like that. Clean that out, clean that out, and clean that out. That's it, done. Once a week, you'll come back and there'll be a bit of um, something in there, a bit of um, sawdust or whatever, and that's all you need to do. So it is so much easier than carrying these horrible things around. And I'll tell you something else we also do, right? So in winter, if you're doing beds in winter, you can also just put a heater in there, 50 watt heater, the real small one, and it just keeps the chill off the water. So that's another good, a good way to um, water your chickens in winter without it freezing. So simple, so cheap, and your birds will be so healthy. Look. 
these are really really thriving now so don't forget like i always say to you i'm uh, i'm new to youtube so subscribe to my channel all i do is chickens we're not a backyard chicken thing you know i see these people on youtube and they're putting these videos on you know how to make your own food how to do this how to do that honestly it is a lot of it is just a lot of rubbish you know they've um they ain't got a great idea of what they're doing a lot of them you know and you never and you never would if you've only got 20 chickens in your back garden would you how would you you know it's there's a lot of ways to save time save money you know and also we're in the uk so we have quite a fluctuation of weather so obviously in your african countries they're always fairly warm but in this country we can get a red hot summer and a freezing winter you know we can be minus five minus ten in winter and you know 30 35 degrees in summer that's why this time of year we've got a, a curtain up there keeps the wind off the chicks and everything else these are on to keep the wind off them but the back is open with slats but in summer we would open half of that open and so on you know just to climatize them to our thingy but you know we we give uh, i'm trying to give people a explanation or if you like of how to do things on a little bit larger scale with you know making money rather than just you know having a bottomless pit in the garden i mean people who breed silkies and you know all these pure breeds that's their that's their niche you know that's what they do but for me we're more interested in you know breeding birds to sell breeding birds to have eggs from we don't kill any birds on our farm so every bird once it's fully grown we rehome them um when they near the end of like a really good egg production time so you know when you get up to 80 weeks 90 weeks we then move them and people will have them in the garden and they'll lay four or five eggs a day for a uh, sorry a week no problem but obviously for us our concern is making sure that they've um making sure that obviously we're getting eggs off them or we're selling the chicks or whatever but that's uh that's what this channel's more about so you guys in you know africa and other countries this is probably a good channel to subscribe to because we offer more practical uh the farming side of it you know where you see these people in kitchens and cooking this for the birds and cooking that and doing this and doing that we're more interested in a more commercial scale so we don't have a kitchen or anything else when we're feeding them we're doing it um i'm just waiting to see if that little girl will have a go yeah we're just doing it for uh basically for eggs we're, we're uh our main business is uh eggs egg production that's the top and bottom of it so anyway thanks for watching um the video and like i say if anybody has any comments or any things that they want to talk about if you leave me a message below i will i will um have a look at it and see if i can do you a, a video on some topic or you know something that you're interested in and we can uh, we can do that for you so yeah all right everybody see you soon and thanks for uh, watching this video see you soon